All right, let's call the August 28th Architecture Review Board meeting it to order. Uh, Elise, if you could please read the roll. Sure. Uh, Zach Russ? Here. Um, Dave? Dave? Dave Albert? Here. Jerry Jones? Here. Joe? Here. Matt? Here. So we're missing Bob and Dick. Uh, if everyone would please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Any potential conflicts of interest on today's items? Hearing none... I will move to item number four, looking for an approval of the minutes from our May 22nd meeting. So moved. Second. Actually, I take that back. I'm looking at the minutes rather than the agenda. So it's the meeting for the June 26th. <laughs> so we had a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Minutes are approved. Thank you. I'm looking at the right sheet. Uh, there was a request to switch the order. Is that yep. correct? Yes. Any concerns from the board if we take item number six first? All right. In that case, we are looking at the proposed exterior remodel of the facade to 1136 Indiana Avenue. Uh, if you could come to the podium and give us a little uh, description of what's being proposed, please. And an introduction first. I think you all have, do you have the renderings? We do. Yes. Okay. And Elise can probably bring those get? up. Scott, can we get the renderings on the screen? Thank you. So our proposal is to, we've already done the roofing portion of this project, but I'm Nick from Gellings Roofing and Siding. And um, we're looking to complete the exterior, and we have some products that we were proposing to use, um, and that is it on there right now currently. If they can possibly zoom in on there, you can get a really good look at it. So it's a, it's a nicer grade vinyl siding with a nicer contemporary color um, to make this wood building that's kind of dilapidated right now um, maintenance-free. So it's not such an eyesore for the community. Um, and um, obviously the windows and stuff would all be trimmed out with aluminum wrap. And we would do our, we would maintain some of the curb appeal with some um, like cedar shakes or fish scales if it's required. What's, what's there right now currently on the existing is like a fish scale, like center here and then you go up about 10 feet and there's no one right there. Um, in the higher section so from my understanding is we would want to maintain that the old style i guess we want to say that the best we can there's the current picture right there and kind of rough yeah. so um, main culture colors would be like that dark natural slate color with like bright, bright white trim to set it off. So. so I think one of my first questions was on the roof, that the brown that shows up on the, the Google Street View uh, sounds as if you've replaced something there. Yeah, it's like a what? dark charcoal or okay. black, you that, would call it right now. Just wasn't sure how well that old roof was going to go in that new color, but it sounds <laughs> yeah. like that's taken nope. care of that, already. Great. Even the, the on the rendering, it, it is like a dark um, yeah. black black it's the color it's called charcoal and then in the GAF line but it's really just a black um, great um, and then is a few questions primarily on the front facade mm -hmm. uh, the first thing is the existing buildings got a cornice at the top with some brackets yep the corbels we plan on keeping on okay. there so we haven't discussed painting yet with the with the building owner but it is an option that we could have it scraped and painted so those brackets up there would stay as well? Yeah, they would stay. Okay. They're they're very architecturally like like historical, yeah, if you want yeah, to say. Good that. answer. <laughs> yeah. Um, I won't ever want to take those off. So, so then the 
the trim down the corners look to be about the same width as those brackets. Yep, both that would be wrapped the whole thing, but mm -hmm. the profile would stay. Yes. Um, and then, so the, the top strip of the scalloped siding is between those brackets. Are you looking to maintain that existing and just paint that? No, we're, we're our plan was to either, they, they were asking, they were hoping we could do a cedar shake style. Okay. Like that, like a nicer vinyl cedar, cedar shake style. Um, but if you want, I could talk to them about um, like going with a scallop on there. And I don't know if they'll have a preference either way. Uh, I guess it somewhat depends in my mind as to what you then do with that lower band above the, be the same. first floor. Uh, that's currently some panels with then that scallop siding above it with some projections above and below the paneled portion. And it looked on your rendering as if there was a strip of cedar shake and then something else underneath it. Mm -hmm. uh, what what was the thinking for what those different stripes are? So there's currently there's, you know, it has like the fish scales and then it has some section of like old small planks that are kind of like back and forth like that if I yeah. remember correctly. Um, so that is kind of to be determined. You know, I don't have any problem, again, having that painted if that's something that the board sees that they want to keep um, for the historical look of it. Some of it is damaged, but it got to be replaced and whatnot. Um, that, that to us is, we're okay with doing whatever with that, you know. And it's, it's obviously a trade-off to, mm -hmm. you know, low maintenance, Sure, the owner is little maintenance for, that, for a lot of maintenance, right? But so. also trying to keep the, some character with those different bands, correct? Um, if those can be different siding materials, uh, I think I would appreciate that. Don't know what the rest of the board is going to want when we get to a motion, um, but that's probably something that can be done at a level to figure out what you and the owner want to propose mm -hmm. and bring it back for a staff level review, okay? Okay, uh, and just make sure that it's uh, it's getting enough of that original character back in it. Uh, other thing while we're on this elevation, that panel over the front door, uh, that the head goes up to match the height of the windows to either side. That's that going to be gone. missing on your mm -hmm. rendering. That'll be gone. Is there any way we can keep that? With it stepping down, it changes that horizontal line that carries through with all three of those elements. So nice. we're talking. We're looking at kind of the the square right there, right? Right there, yes. Um, I, I guess I don't know exactly what you would want to do with it. If it's, if you have, I'm open to suggestion. The cut, the 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 owner is pretty much relying on us to figure out a situation. So as far as like um, anything like the um, supports or the corbels on the top, <clears throat> we can plan on painting those. And then as far as like the stuff in the middle, if it's to keep the integrity of the historical look, we'll plan on painting it. You know, we can just say that. Like they're gonna say whatever it takes for me to get this thing going, you know what I mean? So we'll just plan for that. And then that, I should pull that up. That, I guess if you want us to keep that little box look there, if there is a way to trim out the existing trim, you can keep that and then just have an infill of the siding mm -hmm. uh, above the door. Sure. Um, just noticing in the, the renderings you had that the character changed quite a bit by having now a small door. Gotcha. With two big windows to either side of it in terms of character. So that, is the door size, so we just want to try to keep everything on that plane alongside the windows, correct? Like it's almost like a transom. It used to be a transom right, door. Right. It would so trimmed out as if it was a transom, but siding Perfect. instead of the transom yep. panel. We'll do yeah. it. Yeah. Super. I don't have a problem um, with that. All right. That then look pretty on cool, the actually. West elevation. There's all sorts of uh, on the existing uh, meters, conduit, unistrut with conduit. They couldn't tell what it was. Uh, it's basically a mess. 
Yeah, some of that's How much existing of and there's not a back. Are you yeah. taking it off the side underneath it and reinstalling? The things that we can't, some of that are gas lines that run directly up to the second floor. So they're talking right now currently about like, well, what's the best way to do it? There's been times where we've just had those painted as a color match so that it doesn't stick out like a sore thumb, you know, and then it just kind of blends in as you're driving by, you know, with some of this buildings like this, it's really hard to deal with the way that everything is exterior, exterior. Yep. You know? I would imagine that the, the electrical is staying if the conduit can get painted out. To anything that can be taken down and rerun or anything that can be taken down and hidden, like that's the plan is to clean it up as much as possible. The line was the one that was jumping out with the, the yep. unistrut on the side. It was mm -hmm. <laughs> the, whore, the vertical if on the there's west. a way to reroute that so that doesn't have to go back like that. Okay. Uh, if it does, certainly understand sort of the, the less unistrut we can have hanging out the sides of the conduit. At the, the very least, better. we'll have it painted, but I'm going to put a suggestion in the owner to have their HVAC guy, like, run a separate line. Um, you know? They were already out there with the maintenance man checking to see what was dead, what was alive, what was bad, and what was good. And then I think my last item on the west elevation was the, no, sorry, two items. <laughs> uh, the gable at the back. Again, there's some pretty decorative stuff going on there. Uh, the horizontal band below, mm -hmm. it looks as if you were keeping, but then the freeze boards up underneath the eaves and the vertical centerpiece and the diagonal siding up in the gable. It looked as if all of that is just getting sided over. Um, on, honestly, our main focus was to um, just get it covered and to keep the historical relevant, like look of the front. So if that's something that we want, you want us to maintain is that um, like maybe some shakes in the gable or keep the freeze boards and stuff like that, we can do that. If, if you're able to keep the, the elements that are sort of the trim pieces mm -hmm. to, to trim those out, and then the field of the gable is just an infill with one of the decorative panels that you're using from the front. Sure. That would certainly satisfy me. Okay. Um, okay. It just seemed that with just that horizontal being picked up, the transition of the roof line seemed strange that that gable infill just got a lot heavier seeming okay. up above. Uh, and then the garage, which we can just see in this picture, is anything happening to that to tie it into the house? Uh, not currently. Okay. Maybe it's getting knocked down next year. I'm not sure. Okay. <laughs> As um, of right now, I have not contracted for anything on that. And then on the east side... Uh, I assume that the stairs, platform, those are all staying. They mm -hmm. just weren't in the rendering. Correct. Uh, but then there were a couple of windows that look as if they're being covered. As if they're already infilled, you're just going to side over those? Yes. Uh, and then the bigger question was the bay window toward the back was not shown as a bay. I'm assuming you're not changing those. That was just easier to model than... Yeah, like we have nothing <laughs> currently to okay. change that out. We're going to be siding around it and trimming it out. Okay. Uh, that was it for my questions. Thanks for letting me hog the time here. Other questions, yeah. comments, concerns? The only concern I have is you have to put it in motion. Because <laughs> we can't keep up with all that. <laughs> all right. Uh, any rebuttals to any of the stuff that I was proposing? People think no. better ways to do it or... No. More reasonable no. requests? No, those are all good details. Okay. Um, I guess then on the east elevation, there was nothing. On the west elevation, uh, it west. was to... Uh, Gas line and shakes. Minimize the impact of the, the surface-mounted utilities. Uh, There's to, a window, or, there might even be a window to board up over there. Okay, yeah, remember. top left. Mm -hmm. I think you were getting rid of that one. That it's already filled in, so so yeah. be it. Uh, the that rear gable on the west elevation, mm -hmm. just to keep the trim exposed, and then use an infill panel to match something from the front at the gable. I think everything else was on the front. Correct? Yeah. And then
then the front elevation to maintain the cornice and brackets. I'm not sure if Elise is writing these down or yep. Lene. Okay. Um, and the, the decorative infills between the brackets to maintain the two bands of decorative siding of some sort at the first floor level and to case out the faux transom at the front door. And I believe that was it. What are you going to do with those beautiful mailboxes? <laughs> <laughs> that, I'm not going to do anything with those. <laughs> <laughs> Stay away from that. So, I'll, I'll make shop. that a motion, please. Second. Thank you. So that's turned into a motion. And a second is everyone understanding what the motion mm -hmm. included. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion is approved. Nice. Thanks, Thank you very guys. much. It'll be nice Thank to you. see it tidied up. Thank you. All right. Um, are you going to email me? Like the, I figured as much. Yes. Yep. Thanks, guys. Great. Thanks, yep. Nate. All right, that brings us then back to item number five, the proposed construction of new bathroom addition at the Sheboygan BP at 1030 South 14th. Scott, if you can, you know the drill. Introduce yourself and tell us what's being proposed, please. Hi, I'm Scott Matula with Aspire Architecture and Design, and we are proposing a small addition onto the gas station that is uh, on the corner of 14th and Indiana. So that's kind of the existing setup once that gets um, blown up to full size. Or does it kind of stay that way? Okay, that's fine. Um, so let's go back to the existing pictures. So basically where that brick is on the older building, the, the uh, 19, I don't know, 70s, 60s, whatever building, um, we're gonna kind of come out there and my client is looking to basically um, redo his bathrooms, and expand out. There's not enough room inside the building. So we thought it would be like a natural like transition point to kind of tie those two buildings together. Um, and so that's what we're doing. So if you want to go to one of the elevations. So that south elevation, you're kind of looking at it from the street. So we thought we'd like to go like a little bit higher, kind of create a more natural transition because the way the existing um, green roof kind of ties in. It's just kind of doesn't really have like the best break there. So we thought that would be kind of a good break that way. And um, in fact, once you, if you can go down to the end, there should be some renderings. Should I see? A, I guess that, yeah, I guess that's what I have. Okay. Those are really blue on that screen. <laughs> it don't look like that on my computer. Um, but anyway, so that's what we're, that's basically what we're doing. Um, we are, um, we're gonna match the siding, we're gonna match the trim. Um, the windows are gonna match what the windows are in that restaurant portion. Um, we're gonna, we wanted to go like kind of taller to kind of get above that roof. We're adding some windows like up above in that taller area. It's really gonna be like a glorified attic storage space basically. Um, I, I didn't wanna go with the green roof, so I went with a, a clear galvanized metal roof on that higher pitched roof is kind of a kind of a terminus between the two buildings. And um, yeah, and the siding is gonna match that part of the uh, restaurant part of the building. And then the in, that entire south facade of the older 1950s building, there's like an old doorway that's there. So, and then there's some brick underneath the um, um, glazing. So we're just gonna make that whole side all, um, all fiber cement siding to match the, the uh, restaurant portion. And that's, Kind of what we're looking to do. Anyone else want to go first this time? <laughs> no, it's so much more fun. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I was I, hoping you'd save your best for me. <laughs> <laughs> um, certainly understand what you're trying to do there, Scott. I think putting that node in there as a transition works well. Um, my my only questions really had to do with the forms and materials that you're using for the roof 
that it's already kind of a busy building mm -hmm. with different roofs going on. There's the, the flat, the gable, the, the real shallow gable, the, the canopy, the flat projecting sort of awning piece at the restaurant. Mm -hmm. um, well, I look this at- This element's got a different gable and it's a different material. I just wonder if it's too separate from everything else. Well, between you and me, I don't like the green. So I didn't, I wasn't gonna do that. Um, didn't really like how the flat looked. And I actually did a scheme where I kind of extended that flat canopy that's over the entry kind of around there. And it, that actually to me seemed a little bit more busy. Um, I think at street level, I think it kind of ties it in, I think a little bit, um, maybe more than, a, than like kind of like a bird's eye view, I would say. So that, that's my rationale and reasoning for that. Perhaps yep. to... I would encourage the owner to actually maybe if we go with the same, maybe we can go with the same roof at some point on that mansard and get rid of that green. I think that would that would help tie things in. Yeah. Um, go to the but I elevator. I didn't think a flat roof kind of worked, but we can we can explore it and see. Um, yes, yeah. on your your east elevation. And the existing roof is shown as the gray, which would certainly help. Um, but that, that was the elevation that jumped out at me that it was just lots of different stuff going on. Which one? The, the top, the east elevation. Okay, the one up there? Yeah. Um, I mean, I, I, don't, I don't know. I mean, that's, um, I mean, this building's been added onto a few times and I, I think, I, I, I've, I, to be quite honest, I didn't really analyze the stuff to the right side. Um, there's a big canopy in front of it, so I, I don't think it really, you know, I don't think it's something that you look at, that you look at it and say, well, I wanna go, I wanna match the pitch of that little, um, that gable that's that's kind of over the uh, windows. I mean, we can look at it. If it's, if it's something that's that important, we can look at changing the pitch. I, I just, my opinion is aesthetically that this pitch looks, would work better than that. Personally, um, the fact that it was so different and wasn't doing anything to tie these various pieces together. I mean, we've got mansard, we've got gable, we've got flat, we've got canopy, and now we're introducing a different gable and a different material. Oh, I, like I, there's not a rule that says everything has to be the same. No, but this is a ben, small I think, building. I think what this just, does here is this, when you look at that corner, that ties it together. I, I think when you're looking at this in the site, there's a, you know, I think we're all kind of forgetting here that there's a huge 20 some foot tall canopy and I don't know, six or eight different um, uh, gas tanks there. So I don't, yeah. I don't see that personally as an issue. I mean, ideally I would love to, go, go back to at some street. point wrap around the side of the building and, and tie that all in. I mean, I, I think I disagree with you, Scott, on the view and the perceptions, and this is the street view. The, the front of the building is very visible under the canopy and past the pumps. Right, and I'm looking at that. Tell me on this view where you see the canopy. I'm, I'm not the canopy, where, where you see our new roof. It's behind the canopy. Until I get to the corner, or I'm on, okay. uh, is that 14th? And then it's right there and I'm seeing all of it. I just feel for such a small building that's cluttered already, you talked about this thing unifying it, and it. Well, I think what we're doing is making this a focal angle. point, is what we're doing, and I don't think there's any focal point on this building anywhere. So now we're creating the focal point. I miss doing this; it's kind of fun. Having the height and the mass of the building the way you have it, I agree. I. I think that that is a focal point and a hub could work well. I just think for it to be so foreign in its language to all the different pieces that are there, and ideally it would have taken, in my mind, some of the existing building with the green roof or the gable or mansard, some of the restaurant, and kind of woven the two together somehow. Well, I think we did. We, we matched the, the materials of the, of the restaurant. Well, but not the roof. Well, I think, the I, think that, I think that roof is an eyesore. 
personally. But it's still there. But we're but we're minimizing it. We're make we're making it better. At the end of the day, we're we're making it better. And that we're make we're not making that mansard a we're making that mansard less of a feature than it is right now. I'm having a hard time buying that. The mansard's still there. We're covering up part of it. But not in any way that... So what do you want me to do? Together. Um, I'm not sure. Uh, I guess one option I wondered about was putting a flat roof on it, similar to the restaurant. Another would be to just go with a shed roof with the same pitch as half of the existing gable at the front of the gas station. Um, just looking for some element of the existing getting brought into that new piece that you're adding rather than something completely foreign. Well, I don't believe it's foreign. Well, I've stated in my opinion. Other folks on the board, feel free to weigh in with your thoughts. Here, let me look at this super quick here. I better save this as something else so I don't ruin my existing file. I'll put this one as Joe's idea. All right, give me a second. I can share this if you guys are interested. Where'd it go? sending images to a lease or I am redesigning it as we speak here but where would I where would you guys want me to I can send this or something you can email them to me if you'd like where is it can we route oh uh, shoot I didn't bring my adapter do we have cables that we can make a do you have any I did not well Is the podium all prepped with? Have, um, unless you have adapters. a USB C. Uh, no. Okay. Just put forward. Okay. What is it? Uh, your, well, the, the other thing you can do is. Uh, what cable would you need? I need a USB C, USB C to HB DI, HDMI or DMI, whatever they're called. But here, I can do this too. We got, there's always a solution. That can be rendered, but we do this. Good. All right. Who am, I, who am I emailing this to? Or, or can I text or email or what's the easiest well, can here? Can you tap in via what's on the screen? What? Wireless? What? Can you tie into that? Connect the, the way it says on the screen. For, I'm sorry, what am I looking at here? For, to, to, to AirPlay you mean or for, oh. Oh yeah, okay, I can AirPlay. Uh, Apple users AirPlay console chambers. Okay, hold on a second here. Airplay at. Let's do it this way. Uh. Mm. Okay. 
I'm only seeing my computer pop up here. Wow. <laughs> you can just bring it back. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> just bring it back. It's well, easier. Fashion, like See what you needed. Um, I prefer that. Yeah, I like Granted, that. it's it's a little boring. If you wanted to do it as a shed roof, Scott, matching the gable of the front. Well, so sheds oh. pitching from low side on the the restroom entry side up. You wouldn't necessarily have to be as high with it as you were with the gable then. That concept, yeah, whatever the pitch of that front gable is, it looks pretty close there. You say you didn't like that? I like the previous one a little better. Yeah, I like the flat one better. I like, yeah, the flat one. So I... Is flat an option? Are there things that the our, gable our, is Our preference for? is a pitch, because that's what we came in at. Can we go back to the other screen? Can we I can talk to my I can talk to my client and see what he says. Can we get my screen back? Can we get my screen back? Oh, I didn't take that, did I? Oh no. No, he, he's just, just got oh okay, got it. Over there. To me, I, I did much prefer the flat roof to the, the gable. The, it's that gable element that's just foreign to everything else. It's one more element that's thrown in there. So rather than being more cohesive with this, it just feels to me like we're adding one more layer of clutter to the building. But you guys may have totally different opinions. I, I just know what, what, what you did, Scott. It looked like it, in that view it had more of a linear uh, appearance, which I thought was a little less. This one? Well, the one that you showed yeah, us yeah. before. Yeah, yeah. I one. just thought that that just had a more linear look to it. It didn't uh, create an eyesore. I don't feel like the other one was an eyesore. But... Yeah, no, I see your point. I just, I think from a clean look on that corner, which is a high volume corner, I go by it every day. <laughs> um, I think that look is better in my opinion. So I'd make a motion to approve that one, um, subject to owner approval and staff recommendations. Second. We have a motion and a second. Is everyone clear on the motion in front of us? Mm -hmm. And if the owner doesn't like that, then it's up to them to come back with a, a proposal for either the same thing again or something different. Correct. Mm -hmm. So any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion is approved. Thank you, Scott. Thanks for Joe. going back to the owner for us. Thank yeah. you, Scott. Thanks for all your feedback. Next meeting. Next meeting is currently scheduled for September 11th. The Tuesday after the council meeting. Is there a schedule change with that? Mm -hmm. Tuesday is every two weeks. Yeah, it's usually the first Tuesday after the first. Oh, it's a good one. For when you have holidays. It's September 5th. You let us know if it's different. Yep. Okay, so we're planning, unless we hear otherwise, September 11th. Any additional items? <laughs> Move to adjourn. <laughs> Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Great, thanks everyone. Appreciate your Thank time. You. Yes. <laughs>